I'm Bill. And I'm Candace. And, and we're, we're the, the disruptors. disruptors. Hey, and, thanks for and, showing up. Well, I didn't have anything else to do today. Uh, my double A meeting is, you know, for Alcoholics Anonymous and podcasters that shouldn't be on the air was uh, being postponed today. So I decided to come here instead of the Well Child Studios to be abused and, and verbally beat up. Oh, he's playing the victim today. Yes, I am. Yes. So, I how's am. that getting? How's that working for you? Well, it's working really great so far. Yeah, I, I walked around uh, Roger's tomb out there and saw our new re- replacement uh, and all that stuff. Today, we got something exciting to do, though. Instead of talking about chicken dinner, we have something really exciting. We have a gentleman here that's going to our old producer, executive producer, who is starting his own podcast, and he's going to be on our network. And that show is going to be called uh, Empty Plate. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you very much. You forgot to even introduce him. Yeah, you forgot to introduce me. Oh, I forgot to introduce him. Yeah. You Who were too busy he? talking about chickens and all this other crazy well, that, stuff. Well, that's actually apropos because on this show we're going to talk about food. Food. Yeah. And chicken being one of my favorites. Yes. So... Roger okay. was your favorite too, wasn't he? Uh, we never Roger, ate Roger. Roger just he just he was, an eagle got him. An we were helping meal, yeah. the ecosystem of the Pacific be, Northwest. I see. Okay, so Roger was a victim. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll let that story roll. So, talk to <laughs> us about the the name. Why the empty plate? I chose the empty plate because the biggest compliment that you can give a chef is cleaning your plate. So I chose the empty plate. And That's awesome. We're yeah, looking forward sense. to hearing it from it. So talk to us about what's going to be on the show. Well, it's going to be an assortment of things. We're going to actually talk about different recipes, how they work, if we've tried them, what do they taste like. We're going to do restaurant reviews. We're going to do uh, kitchen gadget reviews. We're going to We're going to review everything food. And really what I want to do is get our listening audience involved. We want them to call in. We want them to text us, email us, whatever they can do to get recipes on. Because did you know that there is a food for every day of the week? No, I didn't know that. When I was a kid, I I found out 30 years later that Elpo was in baby (laughs) food. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's brutal. That might be what you get when you when you eat out some places. Oh. So, but you know, you're talking we're about that. celebrated food. That there's a celebrated food for every every day, of the, day week. of the week. Yes, it's a food holiday just about every day of the week. Oh, how fun! Oh, absolutely. So there would be different holidays, different special events. Has different types of food. Exactly. Bill would be on. He would be all over the national whatever hot dog day. Oh, absolutely. That you and me both. I I, I I think that's wonderful. The national hot dog day. Absolutely. Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's start. Let's let's start here. Bill, what is your favorite food? Well, uh, I have a whole a whole. Elpo was for a long time, as I mentioned before. I love meatloaf. Meatloaf is very good. Made uh, of Alpo. Uh, probably so. <laughs> I noticed that the gravy is not going to be on the thing. show. <laughs> a good fried chicken, boy. Just about anything that's uh, edible. You I need like to different find a types place of dishes. That has a stuff. really good chicken and waffles around here. Now Actually, let's talk about that. Okay, chicken and let's waffles. Do that. What would you like? The to... chicken is dinner time. The waffle is breakfast. How in the world did they get they together? Up, they came up with that because they were coming home from the bar. Absolutely. And mm. they needed sweet, num num num. The waffle, yeah, and sweet and so savory. So they came home from the bar. They came up with that. They. Is that this right? is a true story, right? Oh, I yeah, mean, absolutely. If I remember right, yeah, oh, they man. came up with chicken and waffles because it was the bars were closing at two. And um, people wanted to eat. They wanted to eat, so so they mixed it's the waffle early for mixed breakfast. A, a waffle and chicken with together. fried chicken. Absolutely ah, wonderful. I'm going to bring that up at our next AA meeting because that's uh, not AA what they're. Meeting. I like to yeah. take the. I like to. Actually well, you know what? Take... Thank you. How many years have you been sober? Uh, it doesn't look like long enough already. I I miss the chickens and waffles and all that. Fried mm. green tomatoes. I didn't miss that. That, oh, those are so crispy and nice as an appetizer. Fried green tomatoes. They can be as long as they're done upright. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Okra is excellent if it's done right. Oh, and Bill gets... See? 
See, look at him. Look at his face. Unfortunately, our it's listeners kind of like can't see this face. Sorrento. Sorrento? Yeah, that's that weed out in the yard people actually eat. What, what is the name of that? Uh, Cilantro. That'll work. That, that, I tell you. Sorrento. <laughs> well, no wonder you've been eating the wrong weed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's a, a pepper of some sort. <laughs> Sorrento peppers. Okay, moving right <laughs> along with the program. <laughs> anyway, okay, Bill needs do. to listen to your show because he doesn't even I know what an so. herb is. No, <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't that's know. Okay. Here's a here's a fun tidbit, right? Tidbit about uh, cilantro, and that is if you let it grow, it what turns is it turns into coriander. There you go. Yeah, okay, that's a great tip. Now we'll go to tip number two. What is whatever you just said? Coriander. Yeah, that'll be that's great. Coriander seed. You use it in cooking. So it's yummy. Coriander yummy. Tastes just like chicken, right? <laughs> not no, really. it does not. <laughs> Everybody is, says it tastes this just is like getting chicken. out of control already. <laughs> well, we'll move back to the empty plate now. So to other topics, um you'll be covering different restaurants, you'll be doing restaurant Absolutely. reviews. Yes, we'll be doing restaurant reviews in the local area. Have you already been I know I Maybe I shouldn't uh, no, you ask the question, but I can't help it. So okay. are you already undercover going in and uh, Oh, absolutely. Got some... Nobody knows yet. Although they'll, they'll get a good idea of it when I start pulling out my phone and taking pictures. Yeah, when I'm outside the window with a big sign, Look at Food Critic inside! <laughs> You I need can hardly to keep wait. him pent up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He needs to go back to the home. I think you're right. Yeah. They don't serve Elpo at the home anymore. <laughs> Him and the elbow. <laughs> I know. He'd probably think that's really good right now. Since Actually, you know, really they've improved eat. a lot of animal food since you brought it up. Yes, though. yes, they have. And, they really have. You know, yeah. we cook for Patty. Yeah, that's 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 our other executive producer. Yeah, we cook for Patty. Has so she four uh, feet. <clears throat> we make right sure along. that her food is is good in fiber and all kinds of yum yum yeah, stuff. Good fiber. We feed, yeah. She she gets fed really well. So Absolutely. tell us now, you're going to do restaurant reviews. We're uh-huh. going to talk about recipes. Yep. We're going to look at barbecuing, I would imagine, when oh, that season comes yes. up. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, that's we'll look coming at, up the, real soon. soon. Yes. And we'll be looking at different uh, con- well, what, party are you food gonna, and picnic food and stuff. Are you going to cover uh, business aspects of a restaurant? Um, I hadn't thought of that, but we could, I suppose. I mean, this is your business network, but really, I just want to, I want to cover food. I want to cover how food spans generations and spans ethnic groups and spans, I mean, you can cover everybody. Everybody Mm -hmm. eats, everybody celebrates with food, and everybody loves it. Oh, and food is a comfort. Well, community. It's, it's you know, all, it is. It's all about community. It's about it's about love. It's about relationship. It's about stuffing your face. It's about enjoying it and knowing that you're making somebody happy by cooking for them. Mm-hmm. And so, the empty plate is going to cover those types of things. And like I said, I really, really, really would like the listeners to send in their recipes because we... Where can they send the... Where can they send that right now? Right now, we don't have a place, although we could send it to... You can text it to me at 253-961-7545 or... You can send it in an email to my business, which is Chris at WLDCHILDGRP.com, Wild Child Group. Chris at Wild Child Group.com. And that's C H R I S? That is C H R I S. So now we're talking about foods in general. So there's different types of recipes, I know, and different types of taste in food. Uh, how about vegetarian dishes? Absolutely. How about them? You're going to have a little bit of that on the show, Oh, too. yes. Oh, we're going to have vegetarian. vegetarian. We can do vegan. 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 There's Absolutely. another one. I know the listening audience would like to know the difference hey, listen, between some the two of the, what's Some of on. that stuff is just absolutely wonderful, and you can really sink your teeth into some of it. I mean, you can... Well, and also, I think that, you know, people will drive to a great restaurant. 
I mean, you and I have driven. I mean, we drove all the way up to Woodby Island to visit uh, Christopher's. Yep. Um, we will be covering Christopher's. And so the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, that's, what, two and a half hours away. Mm-hmm. And we were more than what we we drive. You know, we've driven to Seattle for uh, Red Mill Burgers. Absolutely, North Seattle. So, that, so people will travel if there's a great restaurant. That's why whenever oh, restaurants yeah. go out of business, I have to wonder um, because I know for a fact that people will travel to eat off of their plate. Absolutely. <laughs> and so. Um, you know, it's, see, it's it's really in, to take the family out and have a nice meal. People look for those type of restaurants. Well, holiday and the, times. The cost that you're in. I mean, you know, we're not talking going through the drive-through. You know, on a dollar menu, but I mean, the cost of serving a good dish. It is. It's an investment, and I mean, you're looking at at least. Um, I mean, on average, I think we spend a hundred dollars on average. Uh, if not a hundred, we we can sure get close. Mm-hmm. Um, to a yep. hundred dollar bill, and so um, I mean it's all relative, but I mean it's an experience. People, I'm when I go into a restaurant, I'm looking for an experience. I'm looking for um, the food to be vibrant and wonderful. And I get fresh and fr- <laughs> not microwaved. <laughs> <laughs> that not word is microwaved? that's the M word. No, we don't. Oh, we don't my. do microwaved food. That's if I'm Wendy into McDonald's with a hundred dollar appetite, can you imagine how long it take me to eat? But all it isn't that food? the. I thought you didn't like Alpo anymore. I don't either. No. I mean, but they put it between the bun <laughs> with ketchup. I mean, even bar food doesn't have to be microwaved. No, no, there's good bar food. There's, there's good. Yeah. There's excellent. I mean, actually, up here, some of the best food I've ever had is in a bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the mill does all their stuff uh farm right farm mm-hmm. to table yes they um, do we've eaten up there a few times yes, and we have. i mean that bar food was outstanding yes it was it was very very good she does nice and and the chef is really good at what he does mm-hmm. and it's and a it's nice a middle family. it's a it's you know it's a middle of the of the mill type of restaurant it's mm-hmm. not Real, real expensive, but it's not real, real cheap either. So it would be fun to, to see if we couldn't get the chef and uh, maybe the owner on the show. We are going to have some of the restaurant owners and chefs come in, and uh, we'll we'll do some. We, we ought to do. And, we ought to just take our microphone and our equipment and, and uh, go to their restaurant and set it up. <laughs> well, we should. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun on the I show, think, live right from the mill or something of that nature. Yeah. I think that would be real fun, actually. And they'd probably get a kick out of it, as long as they knew we were coming. I mean, you don't... Oh, right. But, I mean, we'd set spring it up. It on I mean, it would be, I'd spring it on Kate once, and I'd be roadkill right outside the restaurant the second <laughs> time. Yes. <clears throat> yes well, and that's good. a restaurant, too, that's community um, active. Very much so. So much there so. is, I went up there to an odd, actually mm-hmm. we went up there to an auction yeah. that was, um, really, uh, really good. And that was our first introduction, uh, really to that facility. So she does a lot for the community, an awful lot. And there's a lot of good restaurants to do an awful lot. Stackers, the hamburger joint, you know, mm-hmm. they do a lot. Um, uh, Ferrelli's. I want to make sure I say that correctly. Ferrelli's pizza. They do, yes, they do a lot Excellent for the community. Excellent pizza. They make a nice gluten-free pizza too. It's gluten-free. That's something else we can talk about on the show. Yeah. Stuff like what is gluten-free? How does it affect? What to look for? Who's really serving gluten? Yeah, there we go. So, Chris, would you mind if um, if our listeners, if they've got an idea for the show that you might want to listen to? Um, how about if they send that? Would you take requests? Absolutely, we'll take requests. If I, yeah, they want but, us to, re, you know, go and review a particular restaurant, sure. Then, uh, yeah, I'm up for it. I'm, uh, the only request I think is in your case is that when they when they write out their request request to send it to you, mm-hmm. not to wrap it in a rock and throw it through your window. Use the mail or the email service. Well. Actually, Bill's dentures well, are slipping. Did you hear that? Yes, <laughs> I, I did hear that. It and I was right just going to say floor. that yeah. the rocks can go to Bill. Yes. Well, okay. I just wanted to bring that up for our audience. This sounds like an exciting show, and we're going to have more information coming up very shortly. Absolutely. We're working on a website right now, so um, be looking for that. Be looking for that. Because we're going to have all kinds of things. And we're going to post the, the food of the day. And we're going to have some recipes that go with that.